Hey guys, Gathering Magic back again. Daily rewards claim for Sunday. Um, got eight bronze chests to claim on my alt account. Up to three silver for the season. So let's get started. Hope everyone's having a great day. I will be having a great day if I can get any cards on this account. Uh, should get hopefully three, but as you guys know, I've been hovering around the 20% mark for, uh, for pull rate instead of 33. So, but every day is a different day. So let's get started. See what we get today. Three merits. A little SPS. There we go. War Pegasus, rare card. A little more SPS. Some merits. Merits and merits. So one out of eight. Okay. So this is the 30th day of claiming chess. Eight one card so we've got 81 cards total out of bronze chess out of 400 which is just one card above 80 for 400 which would be exactly uh 20 percent okay but we're still going to keep playing and keep grinding okay so earth's the focus actually i'll keep that one Let's see if i have any sps to claim Nope. So let's head over to the main account where we have some silver chests. Let's see if our luck is a little bit better over here. I think I'm able to push into gold, but don't think I want to push into gold this early in the season. Um, so we've got 10 silver chests to claim, 20 for the season. Once again, on average, we should get between three and four cards. And of course, with silver, I could get multiples. So hopefully we can get some summoners. That would be great. Starting with three potions, 53 merits. Fungus Flinger. This is like the card I seem to pull the most on both accounts, especially my bronze account. I think I have 14 of those. Two potions, SPS, three Tracious Grunts, so heavy on the Earth Splinter today. And Tracious Grunts, so three out of ten, so right about average. And a total of five cards. Earth's the focus. Gonna change that. And let's collect our SPS for today. 90% capture rate, so I can start grinding some more as soon as I'm done with the video. Okay, so we've got some SPS from land to claim. And then our daily staked rewards. Once again, guys, the power of staking every day and just slowly building up that balance is huge. It's so like I've said in previous videos, SPS is not going to be under three cents or in this range forever. You know, it may be a few more weeks, a few more months, but eventually this is going to start ticking up. And when it hits five, six, seven cents, everybody's going to wish they bought more now. Not financial advice, but I'm just saying it's the trend. I mean, in a bear market, it stays low and everyone thinks it'll never go up. And then in a bull market, everybody thinks it can never go down. Okay, so let's take a quick look. I don't know if I can combine... What did we get today? Green Soulbound. So the Grunt's level 3 already. So how many do you need for level 4? 16 more. Okay, so I'm a few short. So I need 5 more Grunts to get him to level 4. Does he get anything good at level 4? And then I want to talk a little bit about Splinter Forge again. Uh, really enjoying the market. Okay, so level four, just one more health, so no big deal. Okay, so Splinter Forge, I've been messing around a lot with the market, um, picking up some cards. Um, one thing you guys can do if you're looking at building your collection, um, especially if you need to gear up your hero, if you want to just go and as you earn your forge, if you haven't invested a lot in the game, just buy like one piece um, of each armor. It's a lot cheaper than um, saving up for a crate. 
you know, if you save up for a crate, you're going to spend 3,000 forge. You're probably going to get um, four commons and a rare. Uh, that's kind of your basic pack. But there's no guarantee in those four commons that you're going to get four different commons. I mean, you could get like two leggings, say, for example. Well, you can only wear one leggings at a time. So if you're just gearing your hero up from scratch, just go ahead and just pick up, you know, for 200 forge, you know, one piece of armor. You know, so you can get your your basic armor set, get your gauntlets, get your leggings, get your hauberk, um, pick those up and not spend that much. Uh, let's take a look. So if you just wanted to collect commons. So boots are going to be the most expensive, and even boots right now are only going for, well, they're going for 566 forge, but still, that's a lot cheaper than spending uh, 3,000 to buy a crate, not getting one. So you're looking at 500 for the boots, the hauberk, you're looking at, say, 350, so say 850, uh, your leggings, say 250. Say 1100 and your gauntlets, a little over 200. So, for about 1300 forge, you can get just at least basic equipment for four pieces of armor um, to kind of level up a little bit if you want to go for gold or gold. If you want to go for um, the rare, because the rare you could add a second socket, it's going to cost you a little bit more. But if you're just looking at gearing up your hero just from scratch, not putting a lot of money in the game. I would go with the commons other than the rares. Um, if for some reason you get multiple of the commons, you can reforge four of them into a rare, and then you have a slight 10% chance of getting a gold rare. So just starting out, I would go to commons. I would definitely check out um, Splitter Forge Market on Splex GG. Um, if you're a more advanced player or have a, a higher level hero, of course you can always go for the gold foils. And you can see here the gold foils range from uh, 59 cents, which is just over a thousand forge, on up to let's see what's the top one. Top one's probably going to be your bow, which is about a little over 5,000. We'll say 5,500 forge, um, and that's going to get you a gold rare bow, which um, the golds give you an 8% bonus to your earnings, and that does add up over time. Now that's not an 8% bonus to the total amount that you earn from killing the boss so when you fight the boss that's not going to add 10 percent to what your uh, leaderboard rewards are those are going to stay the same what it's going to add is it's going to add um that percentage bonus to your battles that you do against the boss so like right here my boss battle i got 15.47 forge um, normally I would get 12 and a half would be what it's capped at, but I'm getting that bonus because of the gold, um, equipment that I'm, that I have on my hero. So right now, um, for my hero, I have gloves that are gold, boots, um, don't have a gold bow cause that's legendary, gold chest piece, gold leggings, Wish I had a gold Narder's ring, but just have regular ones. So four pieces of gold armor are giving me about an extra three forge per battle, and that's at the lowest tier bronze. So as you fight the higher bosses, you know, and you're fighting, you know, the diamond level boss, I'm not sure exactly how much uh, forging you can get per battle. I don't think it'll show on recent battles. So it'll show the damage, but it won't show how much they've earned, but it's significantly higher. So it really adds up at the higher levels. So definitely something you guys want to think about if you're into Splinter Forge. Um, definitely try to get uh, gold foil equipment. Um, the easiest to get is the rares because you can you have a chance of getting those by uh, collecting commons or combining four commons into a rare, 10% chance for a gold foil. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing here is I'm just buying a lot of commons either off of Discord or off the market, combining them. I'm hoping for golds. If I don't get golds and I get rares, combining the rares into epics and so on. Okay, guys, there you have it. Just a quick uh, opening and Splinter Forge video uh, for today. If there's any other topics you would like me to cover, 
whether it's more Splinterlands or Splinter Forge content, let me know in the comments below. Until then, hope you guys are having a great day, and um, in a few minutes, I'm going to go back and play some more Splinter Forge as soon as I get more stamina. Okay, guys, have a great day. Take care.